Welcome to AQMD on the Air. I'm your host, Alan Caldwell. Joining me today is Santa Ana Mayor and AQMD Governing Board Member, Miguel Polito. Mayor Polito, thank you for joining me. It's a pleasure to be here, Alan. Before we get into specifics, can you provide a brief overview of your vision and priorities as a board member? My vision and priorities are to clean up the air and to do whatever it takes to get there. And, and, and as we take that path, it leads us to many other areas that contribute to dirty air. And I believe that, that, that as we do continue on that vision, that path, that we not only lead to clean air, but that we lead to alternative energies, that we lead to clean energies, that we lead to jobs, that we lead to a different economy, that we lead to different impacts on the planet, uh, and that we lead to, uh, to a better future. I know that in our area, mobile sources are a big part of the problem, especially in regards to our air quality. I know that you also support the use of alternative fuel vehicles. What's the significance or the importance of using these cleaner burning vehicles to help clean the air that we breathe? Absolutely. It's about 80% of the problem. And as more and more people drive more and more cars, even if they're cleaner, there's still more and more cars and more and more traffic uh, emitting more and more emissions. I drive a plug-in hybrid. It means I have a bunch of batteries in the back. And for about 40 miles every day, you're on electric only. After that, you're a regular hybrid. The reason this is very important, it's a transition of the future. Until we can get mobile sources, I'm talking about cars that, that, that emit or trucks that emit emissions, to be clean, you know, we're, we're living in our own cesspool. And, 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 and so these vehicles are tremendously important because we at AQMD mainly control stationary sources. And I think we've done an excellent job in that department across the board. But these mobile sources, cars, trucks, you know, ships, uh, trains, you know, they, they move around and they constantly pollute. That is, 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 is part of what uh, we're going to spend more time focusing on. So I think a big part of it is how do we make those vehicles clean? How do we make them reliable? How do we make them emit less emissions? The ultimate answer, of course, is electric vehicles. And, and then the question becomes, well, how do you generate the electricity? That comes from solar, wind, and other sources that, that, that do not you know, cause the emissions that burning oil does. And as we get there, there are steps. You know, we've already taken some steps, such as our fleet rules, getting fleets to run on natural gas. Here in Orange County, we have 727 buses, our entire fleet, running on natural gas. We have, you know, hybrid vehicles that, that, that we're buying, not only here at the city, but, but throughout the county and throughout the region. And, and, and we have, in a few cases, and I'm very privileged to be able to do this, have the opportunity to, to drive plug-in hybrids, which are, are, are hybrids, but they have extra batteries. Those extra batteries you can plug in at night and you charge them up. In the daytime, it's like you have two gas tanks. You have a gas tank of gasoline and you have a gas tank of electricity. And you have a computer that decides how you're gonna use the energy, you just drive. But at the end of the day, what happens? What happens if you plug in every night and you don't drive too much in the daytime, i.e. below 100 miles, you can get up to 75 miles per gallon. And, 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 and it's a very efficient model. It's a model of the future. Many of these cars are already going to start to come out this year. More will come out next year. And, and, and these are steps where AQMD has been a leader. We've been at the forefront five and six years before the market caught up to what we were advocating through the use of our technology through our grants, through the, the ability to, 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 to exhibit and to show what is possible. So where can the public get a list of these alternative fuel vehicles that are currently available on the market? Go to www.aqmd.gov. And, and there we have not only lists, but we have you know, guidance as, as to how to go about it. You know, what's a reasonable price to pay? What are some of the right warranties look like? What, what are the differences between some of these categories? Which are more advanced than others? Which maybe have more uh, uh, track record than others? You know, uh, you know, for me, 
I, I want to just be out there finding that fast forward button. You know, how do, we, how do we push it? How do we make it happen? So I've had the privilege of driving a plug-in hybrid now since September of 06. And I have close to 200,000 miles. I'm telling you, this works. I'm telling you, it, it's ready for society at large. And, 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 and as more and more people do it, we're going to have cleaner and cleaner air. Let's talk a little bit about bringing these new technologies to the marketplace. Specifically, how the AQMD promotes research and development of these new technologies. We have a very active program. I think we have some of the world's best staff. I think we have a very strong and informed board. And we have relationships with many companies throughout Southern California where we actually issue grants and support projects that fast forward the future. We are in many areas, not only the folks that are doing the connection between bad emissions and health, but also the, 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 the connection between technologies, emerging technologies, and how they go to market, how they mature, how they, they begin to enter. So whether it's hydrogen and stations and vehicles, or whether it's natural gas and fleet rules and, 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 and gas stations, fast fuel stations, or electricity and, and the different layers as to, as to how you get there with that, we're at the forefront. And if we don't do this, it's not just clean air. I believe this is a mission whereby we can create an economy that's a clean economy. And frankly, an economy that takes the country and allows the country to become independent. Because as long as we are burning fossil fuels, we're part of that big global pool where we're all taking oil and burning it and putting it into the air. And, and not only do we produce more CO2, there's less free oxygen for people to breathe. And because combustion is incomplete, whether it's diesel or, or, or other forms, there's all the unintended circumstances and consequences of all these other emissions that are in the air. And, and, and so unfortunately, you know, we're doing a lot of work, but we also have 52% of all the particulate matter that's a, of a high level in the country here in this air basin. That's nothing to be proud of. But what, what there is to be proud of is just how hard we're working, how we're making progress, how the air is becoming cleaner, and how I think we can lead the way not only to clean air, but to a clean economy, a strong economy, to independence uh, on a national level, and, and ultimately say an example that I think can help the entire world. Mayor Polito, before we close, I have one last question. What do you think the future looks like if we don't begin to utilize these newer and cleaner burning technologies? If we don't do some of these things, it's not just avoiding asthma and, 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 and other you know, health issues. Right. It's, it's an economic situation. Uh, it, it's jobs. It's the ability to realize how is our country and our world going to work. The old model doesn't work well. And if we just try to go back to it, we're very, very weak. This, I believe, is a pathway to firmer ground, you know, to, to not only clean air, but to clean economy, you know, to clean technology, to clean jobs, and, and to an entire world that's sustainable. And, and, and it comes in many, many, many facets. And at AQMD, we're in the center of many of these. Mayor Polito, I want to thank you for joining me. I thank you for your commitment and for your leadership in helping us clean the air that we breathe. It's been an honor and a pleasure having you on the show. Pleasure is mine. Well, that's our show. Thank you for watching AQMD on the Air and for helping us clean the air that we breathe. Let's work together. Let's work together.